Welcome dear viewers. Today I'm here with a new segment of KPS News Weekly. I'm here to interview the gold medalist who represented India in International Earth Science Olympiad, Manan Sethia. Welcome to our show, Manan. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Manan, I have few questions to ask. How did you prepare for ISO? What strategies and resources you used for this? I did not have a specific strategy for like preparation for the national entrance exam. I gave it with my general knowledge and G, uh, like common YouTube and encyclopedic knowledge. And after my selection, I got a book online, uh, it's PDF. And then I like set some goals for how many pages I should complete till the next or alternative day and like use some websites also as a resource. Manan, what are your most memorable moments in the journey of IESO? Well, there are quite a, quite a lot of memorable moments. So we went to Great Wall of China, like a part of Great Wall of China in Beijing. And then we also went to Summer Palace, the Beijing National Stadium where the 2008 Summer Olympics was conducted. Uh, various different places for the practicals also in Huaro district. And then we also met a lot of people or students from different countries, Italy, Japan, Belarus, Austria, USA, Australia, etc. It's like quite fun to meet them and also know more about their cultural heritage. So it was quite fun. How did you collaborate with your teammates to get this success? We were given some topics for the group project or group teamwork projects and we divided the subtopics or small topics between us for the research purposes and then we made a word document on it and like we compiled the information from the internet or web which is quite hard in China as there are a lot of web restrictions or great firewall of China which blocks a lot of websites. So we got the data compiled and then we all worked together to like create a framework or create a layout for a poster or presentation for ESP or ITFI respectively. And the next day we all presented the presentations in front of the evaluators. Next question to you. Can you describe the atmosphere as well as the competitive environment in ISO? For the first few days it was pretty chill, uh, like we all were having fun together, memes and fun. Uh, during the day of our theoretical exams and practical exams it was quite stressful or you can say like competitive uh, environment, no one was talking with each other, it was like I can do this, I can do that, I need to get that bronze medal, gold medal, silver medal, etc. All had their own compassion towards the individual test. So it was quite stressful and during after our individual tests, it was again fun. We had a closing ceremony, it was quite like a party. We all danced or sang together various songs. We were like, it was quite a mashup of a lot of things there and it was fun. Okay, okay. Means you enjoyed a lot yeah. there. Were there any mentors who inspired you for this journey? Um, first of all, I would like to th thank or be grateful to Director Sun and Principal Ma'am for pro providing me such a liberty to like uh, prepare for our Science Olympiad or different quizzes. And then the teachers or mentors who helped me a lot were Renu Ma'am and Dilip Sir, who were like, uh, who were like, quite like my parents during my starting journey in quizzing from class third onwards they helped me a lot they guided me th through different tests and pros of different quizzing journeys and or olympiad journeys and then uh, we, we all like our generation knows Mukund Bhia, Vernon Bhia and Abhinav Bhia so seeing Mukund Bhia's posters everywhere also inspired me a lot and then the poster of Vernon Bhia or Abhinav Bhia regarding their ISO journey in South Korea or Thailand, they get them getting medals. It was quite a motivation for me to also represent India in Earth Science Olympiad, to be at the place where they also represented India, to be at the at to stand at the place where they all to, where they all like made India proud. So it was quite a motivation. Manan, what is the difference between EVS, Earth Science, Geology, and Geography? Talking about EVS and Earth Science, the environmental studies which we like study in class 3rd to 5th is quite important which we don't think it is. So EVS is a subtopic you can say or a subclass of Earth Sciences. Environmental studies deal with the human interactions with the Earth and Earth Sciences is the complete overall study in depth of Earth System Sciences. 
while geography versus geology is that geography is the main focus or study of it is the surface of earth or various landmarks or terrains of earth and geology is the complete overall study of a different earth systems the last question would you like to share some tips to the aspirants of ieso um it's not just about ieso for whatever competition you want to like participate or represent your school city state or nation first you need to bifurcate your curricular studies with the co curricular activities you should study for the school also for the coaching also and for the olympiad or quizzes also there must be a time table or time management should be good and you should create goals various goals like i should complete these many topics in alternate days or these many pages of a certain book in these many days or time period so without goals you cannot reach the major goal which you might have getting the medal which you need okay thank you manam thank you for the show this achievement has brought immense pride for krishna public school raipur and india dear viewers stay tuned for more updates such interviews in future till then stay safe stay healthy goodbye